Aloha YouTube, that's your boy Crypto Roots. And it's nighttime on the chicken farm. And uh, I'm just chilling with my wife, Crypto Malala. She's the one holding the camera. Say aloha. Aloha. Or hola. 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 And believe me, you know, I'm, st I'm, st I'm slowly picking up Spanish. Like, learning a new language is really hard for me for some reason. I can learn, you know. But I'm picking up Spanish just in the most obscure ways and picking it up. But she's, she's, she's a good teacher, you know. <sighs> and these are my babies, you know. I, I got to get the I got to get the, um, the herbs and the plants and the veggies growing. So it's just my nature. I always got to have them. So I just kind of want to express myself. I'm gonna hit this shit. Um, especially, you know, I, I like to express myself on my channel. And uh, we, we, we're, welcome to the new America. Welcome to the new America. Now this, this whole coronavirus lockdown thing, it's going around the whole world. But we're specifically seeing America, especially the government, going a little bit extra with the whole control shit. It's it's a that's a whole nother conversation. But it's it's not looking good. It's not looking good now, and it's not really looking good. It's probably gonna, like everyone said, it's probably gonna get worse before it gets better. The economy will recover. It will at some point. It will recover. What kind of economy we're going to be in by the time it recovers, that's a whole different thing. If all these corporations are being nationalized, that means the governments own the corporations. So, that's a... Read 1984. Read 1984, uh, George Orwell, and you'll get everything I'm talking about. You know, that book really blew my mind as far as how far government and state control can really go. Now, if I were to be honest, nothing about my immediate life changes too dramatically. I've been working online, working from the computer for the last three years. I've been traveling and living in wherever I want. I'm blessed to have a home with a lot of space, right on the beach, very affordable with a wife. We got some new pets. I mean, I'm blessed. But at the same time, I know people out there are really struggling. More and more people are struggling. And it's not a race thing. This is just a human being thing. People are struggling, you know. And for some reason, my personal business is just taking off as the economy crashes. When I get money, I get scammed out of it. I got to figure out what to do with my life, if not kill myself, but that's not an option. So I got to keep moving forward. And then the time I'm finally kind of getting my shit together, everything else crashes. But ironically, the whole sh my whole business is helping other people get their shit together during an economic crisis and or before whatever, you know, so a business like cryptocurrency education is actually taking off now because the information is much more relevant much more immediate now and I've already been preparing for this for the last few years so it is a it is a trip but I'm in a position where I'm making more money and more and more people are interested in the goods and services I have to offer because they feel the value that it can give to them. And I don't play around, you know? Um, and I still get haters. I still get people who think I'm pulling a scam, who think I'm pulling a fraud, who think I just took flight and run away. And that's fine, man. I'm not here. That's all, I'm, I'll, I'll address that at some point in the future. But um, my shit's too real to fake, man. My story's too real to fake, you know? 
you can go through my, all my videos and I'm always spitting some game that you can learn from. It's not really about myself. I really don't really care that much about seeing myself. It's really about what what I can do, what knowledge I can share, and you know, and what value I can get from that from you guys as well. So with that being said, welcome to the new America. And when I say welcome to the new America, I indirectly mean a new world, because America has a big influence about what the different cultures, especially the youth around the world. So whatever happens in America is eventually going to affect the rest of the world. But um, it, it's not always going to be directly, okay? So let's just make that clear. You're going to have other cultures, other countries, other traditions doing things differently. But they will always be influenced by American culture, traditions, media. What do we do? What do we do? How is your mom who just lost her job, your auntie, your cousin, you, like when you just lost your job, what are you going to do? Well, you're watching this video on the internet. You're watching this video from your phone. You can be monetizing the things you do on the internet, the things you do on your phone. Cryptocurrency ain't a joke no more. Cryptocurrency is the real fucking deal. Bitcoin, Ethereum, da 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 da, is sound, real, authentic money. Value is always going to be generated. It's always going to be, just because your American dollar is being devalued, because you can't even go to a job and get it, you know, doesn't mean that there isn't a form of value or money somewhere else out there being moved around. It's called decentralized finance. And it's called mining cryptocurrency. Every blockchain has its own block. Like, that's where you, like, the value is always, always, always being generated. It's a different form of it now. And you have to accept that. You have to accept that there's things you don't know. That you may have to go back to school and learn some things from some people you wouldn't expect. You're just gonna have, if you want to survive and thrive, which is gonna be very rare in these next few months and years, the people next to corporations and banks and governments, there's gonna be very few individuals who are surviving and thriving, okay? And those people are more than likely gonna be involved in decentralized finance, such as cryptocurrencies. It ain't a game no more. The money you were living in was monopoly money. The money I live in is authentic, sound, rare, scarce, portable, divisible, fungible, permissionless, anonymous. I mean, the money I fuck with and survive off with, with my wife, that is real money to us. We can sleep better. We can generate cryptocurrency. So what do you do? You start with educating yourself. You start with taking small risks, small investments. Learn about it, hit up Crypto Roots, check out his courses, check out his videos. Learn about the system that is there. One system is falling while another emerges. One, it's, like it's, hidden, in, it's hidden in plain sight. Cryptocurrency is hidden in plain sight. It's right there all around you. It exists on the internet. As long as the internet, there's money you can access. It's like fucking Wakanda. It exists, but you, you just didn't even realize it was there until somebody else pointed it out. So that's what you do. You educate yourself. You level up. You go back to school. Doesn't matter what age you are. It doesn't matter how young you are, how much money you used to make, how much money you don't make. It doesn't matter. We all start damn near from a fresh plate. Because if you still have a job, you're more than likely getting ready to lose your job. And I'm not, that's not me wishing bad things, but if you haven't set up an online business with the decentralized finance, you're at jeopardy, bro. You're at jeopardy. So that's not to scare you. It's just to wake you up. This is, this is the new America. This is the new world. We have no idea how bad it's going to get, but there's, there's always people making money, and that money is always going to only get more and more value. 
So educate yourself. Much love. Hit me up for the mentorship. Check out my courses. I got your back. Shit's getting scary, but I'm not scared.